Hi, and welcome to this Coffee, Four Nav Coffee Break. My name is René Bremont. I'm a product specialist at Four Nav, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to add table and page extensions to our Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to add table and page extensions to our Business Central reports, we'll use a new report extension. It is only possible to add table and page extensions to new 4NAV reports that, he, that you have created through the 4NAV designer. You cannot add table and page extensions on custom report layouts. To demonstrate adding table and page extensions, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a table extension. In step three, I will add fields to my table extension. In step four, I will add the new fields on the page. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding table and page extensions in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I have installed the 4NAV customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the 4NAV designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. When we want to create new fields on a page, we first need to add these fields to the underlying table in our database. This can be tricky. Business Central has a lot of tables and pages. Sometimes it's hard to know which table we are using. Fortunately, we can use the Business Central page inspector. Once we know which table we are working on, we can add the table extension in 4NAV. So the first thing we are going to do today is go to Business Central and log in again. And today we'll be adding uh, some fields on the customer table. So I will open the customers list and open a customer. And to see which table this is, we can go to the help and support. And underneath help, help and support, we have inspect pages and data. And we'll be using this quite a lot today to see if our new extension and fields have been created. And we see right now that we're on table 18 and we're on the page customer card. So we'll need to create a new uh, table extension for, customer, for the customer table and a page extension for the customer card. In the page extension, in the page, page inspection, you can also see all your table fields, which we'll look at later. And we can also see which extensions we have enabled on this page. On this page, uh, we have just a system application and the base application and the 4NAV report pack. This may be different in your, uh, in your system. So the next thing we'll do is go to the 4NAV designer and create a new report. I'll create a new report from a template, uh, just a plain list template. Which takes a while uh, once that has been created. Let's add some fields to my report. So we know what we're talking about, number and name. The next thing we need to do, because this is a new report, I need to give the report a number and a name. Every object in Business Central needs to have a unique object name and a unique object number. So I will say for object name, uh, COF, COF which is just a three letter code to make my objects unique. And then my customers, the object number is 50,000 and 4NAV by default grabs the next available number uh, in your database. So 50,000 is free, which means I can save this as an object on the server. And the final step here is to create our table extension. So I'm not going to add any fields yet, but we'll add the table extension. For that, I find the properties of the report and in there I have an extend tables. And if I click add, 4NAV will automatically add a new table extension for the customer table. And that's because the base table for this report is the customer table. I can add table extensions for any custom, for any uh, table in a database. That's no, uh, that's no problem. But today uh, the customer table is fine. The extension, 
automatically gets a number, which is the next free number in the database, and it automatically gets a name. This name, this name and number is fine. I'm happy with that. So I will just say save as object on the server. The extension was uploaded successfully. Now, every time you upload an extension to Business Central, you need to close your um, you need to close your session and reopen it. Otherwise, the extension won't be loaded. And if I go to my customer right now and go to my page inspection, which I can also do with Control Alt F1, I find in my extensions that I have now have a new extension enabled for my table, which is the COF My Customers. Once we have our table extension, we can start to add fields to it. Please bear in mind that all field names in Business Central must be unique, even if they already have a unique number. So we advise you to use a unique three letter identifier in the field names, just like I did when I named my report. So back to the Fournap Designer. And in the Fournap Designer, we can find our extended tables. And in the, extend, in the table extension, I have an extend fields collection. And if I drill down there, I can start adding new fields. Now there's a bunch of field types and I'm going to uh, run through some of the important ones. I'm not going to make fields for every type, but uh, we'll cover the, uh, uh, the important or complex ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is a unique name. So we'll start with COF again. And I'll call it my text. Now I don't want my field in, on the page to be called COF my text. I just want it to be called my text. So I will change my caption. I will call it my text. And a number, uh, once again, for one half grabs the next available number from your database. So I know this is a free number. And that's all I need to do for a simple text field. Uh, text fields always have a length because the underlying database needs to know how long your text fields are. Text fields can be up to, I think, 2,000, more than 2,000 characters in Business Central Cloud. So we uh, we have something to play with. Uh, the shorter, the faster. So that's our text field. Let's add a new one. Not a simple one. We'll add a decimal field. So we'll call it uh, COF My Decimal. Once again, change the caption. You don't have to add a caption, uh, but if you don't add a caption, then, for, then Business Central will simply use the field name. And like I said, we don't want it to be called COF My Decimal. And the field type, I will drill, I will drag, I will open, and you will notice I have a number of types. I have texts, codes, uh, booleans, which are true, falses, integers, uh, and decimals. So I'll use a decimal for this one. So that's my decimal field. Then let's go and play with a more complex field, which is the option field. So I will call my field uh, COF my option. And in the field type, I will choose the option type. Now the option is a, uh, a simple pull down menu based on uh, some uh, specific values that you add and you need to add or hard code these values right here in your uh, field properties. So I'll say one, two, three, and four. Let's add these to the caption as well. Uh, once again, if you don't add the caption for now, Business Central will simply display your option members. But if you change the caption, then uh, your captions will be displayed. So that's the option field. And finally, uh, I'm going to play with a table relation uh, because I want a pull down menu from the currency table. And if I want to pull down menu from a different table, I can simply add my relation table name. And in the relation table name, I, I can choose from any business central uh, table. And I will choose the currency table. And if I do that, you will notice my caption automatically gets changed to currency. So I'll change that to my currency. The length gets set to 30 and the type gets set to code uh, because that's uh, specified in the currency table relation. So for now, we'll uh, figure that one out for you. So those are the few, four fields I'm going to create today. Like I said, there's a couple more. Um, 
Uh, we, saw, we also have date times, times and dates, but those are fairly self-explanatory and you can play with them to see what they do exactly. For now, I'm happy with this. So add these fields, hit OK, and once again, save as object on server, which upload, uploads the extension to Business Central. So we'll open BC once more. Again, go to the customers. And now on the customer page, I don't have my fields yet because I haven't added the page extension yet. But if I go to the page extension, so, sorry, the page inspection in the table fields, I can search for COF, which is another great feature of these uh, three letter uh, appendixes or prependices. Um, I can simply search for them and I'll find the COF, my text, my decimal, my option, and my currency. Finally, we want to add our new fields to some pages. Some tables, like the customer table, have more than one page, so you will need to add your fields to all the pages you want to see them on. For today, we're just going to add the fields to the customer page. And to add these fields to pages, once again, we go to the extend tables. The extend pages right here is just to add actions, uh, to start reports. Uh, if I want to add fields to a page, I need to open my extend tables. And in my extend tables, I have an extend pages collection. I can simply add a new page extension. And for now, we'll find uh, the pages that I can extend with my table extension. So by default, it finds the first one, which is the customer card, which happens to be exactly the, uh, the page I want to use. But every page that's based on the customer table is, uh, is available, so you can change anything. So you, you can add fields to your APIs or to your workflows or your customer entities or anything else you want. Once again, I get an extension number. I'm happy with that. Uh, Fornaf gives it to me, so now it's free. The extension name is doesn't matter either because it doesn't get shown anywhere. So I'll leave that as it is. And after control means my fields gets added after the control I specify. And I want to add them after the name. So I'll select my name field and now my new fields will be displayed right after the name. Once again, okay. Once again, save. And once again, reopen Business Central. Find my customers. And now my customer card, right after the name, I have my new text where I can type some text. I have my decimal where I can add a new decimal. The difference between a decimal and an integer is that, that a decimal has decimal values and an integer is always a whole number. So whenever you want to use uh, amounts and stuff like that, you always need to choose a decimal field. You can choose your option, the options that we specified, one, two, three, or four. And the my currency, if I open that, I can choose my currency from the list, like the, uh, let's go with an Australian dollar today. So those are my fields. The only thing I still have to do is add these fields to my report so I can display them, which is obviously what we want to use Fornaf for. And to add these fields, I can simply find my fields in the Fornaf designer, select them all, and drag them into my report. And let's align them to the left and let's make them red. So they stand out a little bit. And let's go and preview the report and see what happens. So the top row spots my furnishings is the only customer that we actually added some data. And you will notice that uh, we have the uh, Australian dollar 8.143 and some text. And that for all the other customers, uh, the decimal gets uh, 0, 0.0 because that's the default value and the option field gets the default value which is the default value is one and if you want that empty you simply need to add a space in front of your first option. So let's recap what we just did. 
The first thing we did was check on which tables and pages we wanted to add fields. And once we knew that, we could create a new report and add a table extension for our table and add our fields to that. Finally, we were able to add our fields to the page by adding a page extension. We were then able to fill our fields and use them in our report. I don't have any questions yet, so I will proceed with wrapping up this, uh, this webinar. If you do have any questions, uh, please type them into the question window. If you want to know more about Fornav, please visit fornav.com, where you can also download the Fornav Designer. Um, if you want to use Fornav in uh, Business Central Cloud, you can install, it, uh, install the Fornav Report Pack from Microsoft App Source. And if you want to see more of these videos or other videos about Fornav, please visit our YouTube channel. If you have any questions after this webinar is over, or if you are watching it on YouTube, please send them to support at fornav.com. And of course, we will continue our coffee breaks. Uh, please visit fornav.com slash coffee break for a full list of recorded and upcoming coffee breaks. With that, thank you very much for listening. And I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.